With these below freezing temperatures in the next couple of days, the threat of frostbite is just one of the many dangers Wisconsinites face. News 8 Now's Michael Germain spoke with Gunderson and Tri-State officials on how to stay safe this upcoming week. Ken and Emily, Gunderson and Tri-State officials tell me that during the winter months, they see an increase in frostbite cases. The Cooley region is being impacted by its first snowstorm of the season, and kids in Onalaska are making the most of it by hitting the hills. Oh, they'll last a while, I'm sure, but I won't, so. But as we enter the weekend, folks need to be aware of the staggering low temperatures and the risks that come along with it, like frostbite and hypothermia. For some, the risk is more severe. The people who are most at risk of frostbite and frostbite complications are going to be the very young or also the older adult population as well. Frostbite happens when your skin or the tissue below it begins to freeze, especially when your skin is exposed in sub-zero temperatures. So some of the best things to do is ensure that any of your exposed skin that is going to be out um, is going to be covered. Some of the things you can do to make sure you don't get frostbite is wearing boots, hats, mittens, and gloves, and ensuring your skin is properly protected. Tri-State explains what their protocols are when they encounter someone with frostbite. What we want to do is remove them from the environment, start the rewarming process, get their uh, wet clothing off, get them warm and dry, and then transport to an appropriate facility. Wendell also says folks need to be cautious late at night, especially those leaving the downtown area and heading home. If it's, if it's anyone, it's, it's uh, someone that found themselves outside late at night with unexpected walks. Sometimes the college kids leaving downtown going to campus. Those, those are frostbite calls I can remember. Now, officials also told me that folks should be aware of hypothermia, which is caused by a long exposure to colder temperatures. Reporting live in La Crosse, Michael Germain, News 8 Now. All right, thank you, Michael.